Uh, we've met before because we spoke on the radio some time mm. ago. Uh, in fact, you were saying backstage, it was three, is it three years ago? Yeah, it is three years three ago. Three years yeah. ago. Yeah. And uh, something happened that day. Uh, maybe if we, if we take it from there. Yeah. Um, so three years ago, um, I actually have a, a ring the day that we spoke. But Atlanta, yeah. the odd thing is it was actually uh, this week three years ago. Um, I had been going through a battle with mental health which we'll get to in a minute. Sure. But um, you and I spoke on your radio show on 2FM, and I was talking about my journey and what had happened to me and encouraging people to hold on to the light. And there was one man who was in his car, little did we know, no. um, on his way to take his life. He had a rope in the back and some tablets uh, for you know a very sad deed. And then... Uh, you and I came on onto 2 FM, usually a pop station. Yeah, yeah, where we were uh, at the time. Yeah, and um, the next we did our interview, and the next day I, I went home and um, turned on the radio, and you read out the letter from this man, and he said that um, he was going to kill himself, but he heard us speak, and that our words had stopped that. Mm. Well, he, I think, in fairness, it was your words and your story that made him want to hold on to the light you just mentioned. Yeah. Uh, and it was just that moment that, that it probably affected you, did it, a little? A little? Well, I mean, um, that, I would say, was a turning point in my, in my life because I saw from, you know, when you go through things like that, you have a spiritual awakening. And what happened to me was I felt that everything happened for a reason. Sure. And if I hadn't went through that journey... Uh, there would be one less person in the world. Um, and by going through all that, I was able to actually uh, save somebody. And th there is no feeling like that. I, I, you know, you hear people talk in the movies about tears of joy, uh, but I actually cried that day. And um, uh, there's never been a feeling like it, you know.